One of the greatest needs in my district is the financial literacy. Well, Hector, it's great to be in East LA and uh, listening to what the community is doing to promote financial literacy in the families, beginning with the children, which is something so critical in our families for the future, not only for college, but for purchasing their home and for doing all the things that are necessary. So it is wonderful to hear about it and we hope to promote it some more. The CEO of the bank, a champion for the underserved, the underbanked, and unbanked, Jesse Torres. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hey, so first of all, thank you all for being here today. Uh, uh, one was uh, the FDIC study that said that East LA is, is, is in dire need of financial services, affordable financial services. And, uh, and the second one was a study that was conducted by a college, by University Back East, and it found an amazing, uh, it, it came up with an amazing outcome, and that was that youth that have a savings account in their name, and it doesn't matter how much is in the account, nor does it matter how much their parents make, controlling for, for the amount in the account, controlling for parental income, household income, they are seven times more likely to go to college. Seven times than kids that don't have a savings account in their name. Why is it a good idea to have a savings account? Once this is done, once we're done talking up here, they're going to be going door to door to inform the community, to inform the families, to inform the kids about the importance of learning to become asset builders at the youngest age possible. My name is Manuel Guerra. I got three sons. I'm from Jalisco, Mexico, and I was here for over uh, 26 years. You know, the time passed fast. Suppose when I have my kid ready for the college and I don't have the money, I got to start saving right now. Hello, my name is Alma Gomez and I was born and raised in East Los Angeles. I attended uh, the public schools here in East Los Angeles and I also uh, attended the university at, in Los Angeles. Um, and you know, we, we struggled and I also uh, watched a lot of other families struggle because you know they didn't have enough money or because maybe they didn't manage their money well or for many other reasons. Hi, I'm Eric Garcetti, city council member in the city of Los Angeles. You know, all four of my grandparents lived here in East LA in Boyle Heights. Uh, two of my grandparents, uh, my grandfathers, were both small businessmen here. And they were able to provide for their families because as poor immigrants, they were able to start something right here on the street to get the financial means that they needed to, to be able to build up equity, to build wealth and provide a better education and opportunity for their children. I wouldn't be standing here today if I hadn't had folks who understood the importance of saving, of realizing that they too could have a stake in this city, in this state, in this country. And that's what this bank is doing as well. Right here, Pan America Bank is building up opportunity in our community. This is the heart of Los Angeles. This is one of the great American communities and still a gateway for folks who are coming today, landing on a plane, coming on a bus. Here they are coming because the American dream to them represents something not just for them, but their entire families. So working together to make sure that this is a nation of financial literacy, that we save for our future and that we invest in our future is what's happening right here on the streets of East LA every single day. Buenos dias, buenos dias, good morning East LA. How fabulous to save money for college. Can I have a round of applause of every young person who's going to college? All the young people, how many of you are going to college? So Monica, thank you for being here today. I know as president of the school board and a longtime East LA supporter and 
uh, being a homegrown product of East LA. Um, East LA means a lot to you, but if, can you tell me in your words really what this type of effort r truly means to you? Well, I'm here to stand with our community and our community partners like Pan American Bank, Bienvenidos, Inner City Struggle, and others who want to empower our families and our neighborhood. When we talk about financial literacy, when we talk about college readiness, when we talk about attendance and partnership in the neighborhood, it means we have stronger families. And for our young people, it means their community cares about them. It means that we have to change the reality that so many of our families are largely underserved by banks. Uh, so the unbanked have a correlation to the unemployed and uh, lack of college going culture. We're trying to change that. The Pan American Bank is doing it in such an innovative way by starting with the kids. Mm -hmm. It's teaching kids how to save for college and for their future. In turn, the kids are teaching other kids, and then the kids are going home and teaching it to their parents. This is a great model, and studies show that when kids have a savings account, they're more likely to attend college. So it is clear that financial literacy is the key to the future, and Pan American's uh, model deserves to be replicated all over the nation. So Mr. President, East Los Angeles and Pan American Bank invite you to witness firsthand the challenges and innovative and sustainable long-term solutions that have been introduced into East Los Angeles to solve these economic problems. We hope to see you here in East Los Angeles very soon. Thank you.